Hey everybody, it's Josie. Welcome back to Cedar Creek Homestead on this cold Saturday. Today, Cheyenne and I are making a, a lot of cinnamon rolls. Three batches uh, for for uh, for the day. We're going to take these cinnamon rolls, uh, make them off in in pans, and take them to our church members for a Christmas present from the Ferguson family. So I'm going to turn the camera around. Uh, we've got a couple of batches already rising, and we're going to turn this around. And Cheyenne is going to put the thing together, but she's not going to talk. I told her she could, but she shook her head no. So she's working on getting where she's on camera more. So anyway, we're going to get this recipe out to you. This is not my recipe originally, uh, uh, so uh, I can't take credit for it, but it's a good recipe and uh, we're going to get started. The first thing you're going to need is a, a, a good uh, pan on the stove and Cheyenne is going to add one quart of whole milk to that. Of course you guys can hear that Howie is at her feet. He sees mama pouring milk in the pan. And to that she's going to add a cup of oil. And one cup of sugar. And she's just going to use that whisk and whisk them out together just a little bit and a a turn her flame on. And uh, now you sh what she's going to do is bring this up to just below boiling. You don't want this to boil right before bo uh, boiling. She'll turn it off and let it come down in temperature and add, uh, add the yeast next. You don't want to uh, add the yeast while this is uh, really hot because you'll kill it. And uh, we don't want that. We want these rolls to rise really pretty. So that's all it is to the first part of this. Uh, she has just added the milk, oil, and sugar together. And she's just going to bring this up to right below boiling. And then we'll be back for the next step. Okay, now this milk is right before boiling. So Cheyenne is going to turn it off the flame. And we're going to let this set and come back down to temperature. Uh, we don't want it to be hot, but we want it to be warm before we add the yeast. If you add it while it's hot, the yeast will be killed. So we have to let this sit for a little while and then um, when it comes to temperature, we will, uh, we will add the other ingredients. So the milk has come down to temperature where it's safe to put the yeast in and the recipe calls for two packets of yeast. Now I use, turn that around, Cheyenne. I use these, uh, the big blocks of yeast, the bulk yeast, and I put it in my freezer. Equivalent is two and a fourth compared to a, a two, <laughs> I'm gonna get it in a minute, guys. Two and a fourth teaspoons compared to if you had one of those packets. So she needs two of those. So she's gonna add uh, four and a half teaspoons of yeast. One now, more. I have somewhere, yes, one more. Somewhere my house has swallowed up my teaspoon. Um, teaspoon measurement so she's putting one tablespoon and three half teaspoons which equals four and a half teaspoons I hope I didn't just uh, mess everybody up so it's four and a half teaspoons of yeast to this recipe okay or two packets whichever one so now she lets this set for one minute so We'll just have to time it for a minute. That. Okay. She'll let it set for one minute, and then we'll show you the next step. So she, it's been a minute. She's going to stir that yeast into her mixture here, into the milk, the oil, and sugar. And then here we have eight cups of sifted flour in this bowl and I've made a well in it and she's just going to pour that yeast mixture into the bowl. And then you're just going to stir this just to combine. You're not going to take it out and knead it. You're not going to do anything like that. You're just going to stir it to combine. Now 
Now this is our third batch of cinnamon rolls, uh, uh, but we just want to give a little gift to our church family uh, just as a, a thank you from us for uh, being being part of our family and just a little way of saying thank you without it uh, spending a whole lot of money. We, ha we are spending our time, but um, you know, it's family, church family, and we love them. And we just want to say that we appreciate them. Now tonight, after I get all these baked off and iced, I may feel differently. No, I'm just kidding. I, I'll still love them, but... Okay, so she's got this. You stir it just to it, uh, combine it. It seems gloopy, seems gloppy, but we have a couple more steps to do in an hour. And so what she'll do is cover this with a towel, put it in a warm place, let it rise, and then we have other ingredients that we'll add to it uh, when it's when it's ready. The dough has risen for an hour, and this is what it looks like. It actually was a little bit higher than this, but when I took the top off, it started to deflate just a little bit. And so, um, Cheyenne is still doing this, but she's still not talking. <laughs> she might talk a little bit if she has some encouragement. Um, and so, the next thing that we do is we've held back one cup of flour to be added to this now. And so, Cheyenne's got it over here. And uh, let me take that sifter from you. And uh, she'll add a, a cup of flour. And then she's going to add, this sounds really strange, I know, but she's going to add a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, and then she's going to add uh, a heaping tablespoon of salt. So the tea, uh, the baking powder, which is this, she's going to add a heaping teaspoon, or a heaping teaspoon, which no, not that much, but a little bit over, a little bit. Okay, that's, that's good. A heaping teaspoon. Okay. For the baking soda, she's going to add a scant uh, teaspoon, which is a little bit less than a whole tablespoon. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then she's going to add a heaping tablespoon of salt. But now this makes, depending on your thickness, this makes uh, 40 to 50 cinnamon rolls. And so... Um, that sounds like a lot of salt, but okay, that's good. All right, and now she's just going to mix this all together. You may want to use your fork to begin with before you go in with your hands. All righty. There she goes. Then you can tell the dough is going to deflate some. Now, when she gets this all incorporated together, we'll, she'll put it out on this um, parchment paper. This is actually freezer paper. Um, I do have a bar where uh, we could roll this all out, and I normally do it at the bar uh, uh, just so we've got, you know, workable space. But my lighting in this, <laughs> my lighting is not that good. Um, and so until I figure out what kind of lights that I can use for my videos, I have to do it here at the table because it's underneath uh, the ceiling fan. And um, so we're just doing the best we can here. We've got it rolled out on this, uh, or we will have it rolled out on this freezer paper. But this, each batch, uh, when you roll it out to make your dough, you're going to divide it and work with one piece and then work with the second piece to make to, to make okay, your cinnamon gosh. rolls. And we'll show you. So now that she's got it like this, uh, she could probably sprinkle just a little bit of flour down here on the surface. This is her first time working with dough. So she's she's uh, taking on a big task here. But she can do it. And she's just gonna roll to get this all out of the out of the bowl here. Might have to flour your hand just a little bit. Alrighty, and now she's just gonna pull this together. Okay, just take it, yeah, and start folding it in. Right, and do your sides. 
It doesn't take a whole lot, but she's just going to get it all uh, into a workable dough. You don't want to put out a whole lot of flour because you don't want uh, the uh, dough to become stiff. There you go. That's looking good. Now, if you if it's just super super sticky, she could add some more, but this is actually pretty good. And so what what we're going to do here is we're just going to take it. And uh, she's just gonna eyeball it and put it in, uh, pinch it into two different pieces. We could just, there you go. And we're gonna put one piece up out of her way and she'll be able to use this. You might have to flour, just put you just a little bit more flour down. You might have to bring your flour closer to you so you can reach it. I hope y'all can see everything. Okay. There you go. And you can flour your hands and you might have to flour your rolling pin. Okay. Now she's just going to roll this dough out uh, into a rectangle. Now we're cat kind of setting cattywampus in the dough. Normally you'd be going right on it. Mine comes kind of the other way so she can get to uh oh. Wrap around my <laughs> Okay. A little bit sticky, so you might might put just a little bit more flour on this surface here. Put some more on this. And you might want to put maybe put you a little bit more on your that's feeling pretty good. Okay. If you need to Okay. Now, Howie is already asleep on his nap, but you might hear a little rowdy. Uh, he is uh, stuck in his bottle and be off on one of his mini naps before long. Uh -uh. Okay. Now, you don't want to roll it out super thin, but you want to get it, you know. Okay, you're good. Just keep, keep on it. You'll try. Roll you know, out. sometimes you can kind of... Uh, Fix it to, to kind of where you, and then roll it out some more. Okay. Maybe take it this away longer. Uh huh. Okay. Alrighty. You kind of roll your edge there. Now this doesn't have to be perfect. But this dough feels really good, it's soft, not real sticky, uh, and then we've got the good stuff that's going to go on it. Uh, feels like it's pretty consistent with your thickness. Maybe a little bit more right through here. Okay, that's looking pretty good there. All right, so now that she's got it to this part, uh, we, it's time to put the goodies in it. Now we've got uh, butter melting on the stove and it's probably just about ready. And we will br brush this dough with butter and we will put cinnamon and sugar on it. So she's got her dough rolled out. And so the next thing, Shine, that you're gonna do is you are going to cover the surface with butter and then cinnamon and sugar. Now you want to be generous with it, so lots of butter. So yeah, you want to put a lot of butter on there. Some people like the bread better. Some people like the cinnamon and sugar better. Some people like the ooey gooey. Some people like the icing the best. But we want to make sure that we've got good flavor on the inside, because uh, you want to know that you're not eating a a um, dinner roll, you're eating a cinnamon roll. And this makes it nice and gooey. The butter uh, helps the cinnamon and sugar adhere to the dough and uh, gonna give it a nice flavor. Now I have a bunch of butter melted. I've got about four sticks. I don't have about, I do have four sticks melted. But keep in mind, we are making multiple batches of cinnamon rolls, and so we do have a lot. Um, but um, I get my right, here. right through here, sis. 
Okay. And so now the next step is just sprinkling with sugar. And um, you just coat it with sugar. Now our, hopefully our little people at our church is going to enjoy these with some hot chocolate or coffee or whatever it is. And this week leading up to Christmas and... and uh, be, it's supposed to be really cold here and we don't know if we're having a white Christmas or not they're not really calling we have a couple of chances of little bitty snow chances this week but I don't think they're really calling for us to have a white Christmas that's not unusual for us we're used to that um, it's a rarity to have white Christmas and so um, since I've lived here in Oklahoma which has been 14 years I'm thinking that there's only been one for sure white Christmas that I didn't get to go home to Arkansas and visit because of the weather. And there was another time that it snowed once we got there. But um, other than that, it's not. Now, I might be wrong. You know, my memory sometimes slips. But uh, I'm thinking for the most part, um, we've not had white Christmases. Okay, so um, the next thing is this is the cinnamon, and now uh, your it's your choice on your cinnamon. Uh, if you like lots of cinnamon, you can put lots of cinnamon on it. If you don't like much cinnamon, you can hold back. But uh, we are be uh, be as liberal as you're willing to be with your cinnamon, because it is a cinnamon roll. looking good. I think she's doing good for her first go around the cinnamon rolls. Okay, that's probably that's good. Unless you want more. No. Okay, so the next step is to roll it. Okay, so you can uh, roll it up and you're just uh, going to start. Some roll from this away, some roll from this way. I am not a roller police. I feel like the whatever way is easiest for you to roll. You want to try to keep it tight though if you can. It's a little sticky. Yeah, it gets sticky, but sometimes, uh, now I just tore mine, but I'm not too concerned about it because it's gonna go, there we go, all right. Gentle. I almost tore mine right there. Okay. Now you can if you need to. I'm going to just flat my hand for a second. Okay. Because this is me. And you're just going to roll this up. Keep in mind, keep this tight. You can pull it back with your fingers. They, we've got this roll really thin, so it's kind of, but we can fix it. We can just pinch her back together. All right. So, oh. <clears throat> okay. Now when you get your ends, just pinch them together. Okay. And right there. And you're just going to pinch, pinch the edges together. Pinch it in the up. Yeah, just pinch it in. And then your seam, you're just going to pinch your seam. Okay. Now gently roll it to where we can, the seam's going to be at the bottom. it all. Okay, now she's ready to cut it, but we need to get pans over here. And you want to, uh, whatever your pans you're putting them in, you want to spray your pans uh, <clears throat> so that they don't stick. So we've picked up these little uh, foil pans and I'm thinking that these, once they're done, they'll slide into a Ziploc bag or I have some bread bags that they might go down in. Uh, to take to church for the for each individual. So she's just gonna slice these. Okay. 
She's just going to slice through these and then uh, we'll get them in the pans. Just, uh, just cut some off and then we'll put them in the pans. Or just, you know, slice them, just leave them there in your log. That's probably a little, little well, bit, a little bit smaller. So what we're going to do is we're going to put um, the rolls in these pans. Now you don't want to crowd the rolls in there. Um, at, we're going to let them set and rise for about 20 minutes before they bake. And so um, don't crowd them in there. These pans should hold between seven uh, and nine rolls. I'm going to start on this end. It's all right. It'll be all right. I'm sure, but I don't know. I'm not the fixer of it. Okay. So she's concerned at her. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll do another one and see how it turns out. Okay. So there. This is the pan. This is eight rolls. Hmm. I don't know what happened. It's okay. It's all it is is that you're. Um, you didn't roll them tight enough. And that's okay. You're learning. <laughs> so we'll on the next one, we'll roll them tighter. You roll. It'll be fine. I guarantee you they'll eat. <coughs> okay, it's all right. That's so funny. It's all right. I was like, yeah, I'm not the fixer of whatever problem. Let's put seven. Okay. Let's put seven. Eight. Okay. It's all right. All right, there's two. And there's seven, eight. This one's... Here, let's hold that. Okay. And number eight. Let me bring it down. Uh, no, just set up. They have to rise. Oh. She's gonna set them aside to rise, mm -hmm. and we'll get a towel on those. And uh, we'll see if we can't make the next ones a little bit tighter. Yeah, whenever I started cutting them, I was like, they're not very, we're picking them up, I was like, they're not very tight. That's okay. This is a learning channel for all of us. Cheyenne's, you should use, this is Cheyenne's failed. So. No, it's not failed. They're not failed at all. I'll tell you what, most bakers know the secret, or home bakers anyways. You put that icing on it, nobody will learn it. Except you. You know that you didn't do it tight enough. Okay. And so I guarantee you, they'll be thankful to get them. We're going to do another round. Okay. This is ready to go. You can tell you're the bread baker. No, it's not true. Everybody has to start somewhere, and I'm no expert. <laughs> Compared to me, well, how many times have you made cinnamon rolls? Never. Okay, so that's <laughs> good. Okay, so I'm going to start it with this. I 
That's where I messed up. I didn't go sideways first. I now, if you see something in the dough, it's cinnamon. <laughs> we don't have dirty dough. We are. And keep in mind, it's a little small space. Yeah. We're not up at the bar. Probably a whole lot easier at the bar, right? Well, you have room to work and you're standing over the dough. That gives you a little bit more um, leverage with the dough. <clears throat> So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the butter, the, uh, the butter and the sugar and the cinnamon on this. Put her sugar on. What, I, what you're going to do is you're going to start rolling this, and this time you're going to keep it as tight as you can keep it. Um, try to think of when you get those those cinnamon rolls at the store, and they're just, uh, this, as you're going, um, and if you need to tighten it, just pull it back and then tighten. See how you can do that? You pull, you pull it like this and roll it. If it gets to where it starts feeling kind of loose to you, because you can tell there it's not or it's not loose. But if it, if you start feeling like, whoa, this is loosey-goosey, you just kind of pull it back and tuck it a little, a little tighter. Kind of like if you were making a piece of paper and rolling it up into something and how you would tighten it, you just do the same thing with your dough. You don't want to smush it because you want your roll to still be there. Right. But you want to, uh, you know, take... Show, show it who's boss. Just use your fingers independently and, and pull it back if you need to. Okay. You want to try the whole thing or you want no. me? Okay. <laughs> All right. So keep working it. how this kind of feels a little bit mm -hmm. like here right here so take it back like this and roll it tighter you're not going to mess it up you see feel the difference mm -hmm. okay yeah these are a lot better okay you're just going to pinch those edges pinch your end Get your hand pinched. My hand's a little thin. Okay, that's all right. Okay, so gently kind of roll this over so the seams on the bottom because you want that to go in the pan. Okay. They feel better. Yeah, they do feel better. Well, the recipe says between eight and nine. I mean, seven and nine. So we could probably make this eight fit. Yeah, I mean, we could probably make all these cinnamon rolls fit in these pans. Okay, guys, we're back. We've got uh, six pans here that are are cooling. We've got huh? We've got three pans on the stove. We've got three more pans in the oven. Another batch waiting to go in the oven and then we have so that's 14 pans of, of cinnamon rolls and then we have two 9 by 13 pans of cinnamon rolls so we are marching right along we're going to get this frosting made and get this first batch um, iced this is a maple frosting you are welcome to use whatever frosting some people like cream cheese frosting I like cream cheese frosting too but we're putting maple frosting on these, and um, we started with uh, one pound of powdered sugar, 
And to that, Cheyenne is going to put in a fourth of a teaspoon, a fourth of a cup of butter. She's going to put in an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Now you'll see her just fill this halfway because for some reason, my silver tea, uh, set, my teaspoon is missing, and in this one, I don't have an eighth of a teaspoon. So she's just doing a uh, half of a fourth of a teaspoon. And then she needs a fourth of a cup of brewed coffee. And one final ingredient, she needs maple flavoring. She needs two teaspoons of maple flavoring. And I will caution you on this maple flavoring. It will stain if you get it on like a, a tablecloth like this or on your countertops, it'll stain. So you wanna you know, keep, keep that in mind. And then she's gonna whisk this up. Now, uh, when you're making this uh, icing, uh, you're gonna eyeball it and you're gonna taste it. You can add more sugar if you think it needs more powdered sugar. Uh, you can add more coffee, more maple flavoring. You can adjust it to however you like the texture and the taste of it. <clears throat> now this is a lot of icing, but we have a lot of cinnamon rolls to uh, put icing on. And uh, we want to make sure that we uh, get good coverage on all of them. Now it's getting a little bit thick here. And so now she can decide to put a little bit more coffee in it or a little bit more milk. Uh, it's up to her. Uh, what she likes. Yeah, she's not going to need a lot. That's what it's doing on the spoon. It's it's staying right where you put it, but it is a little bit thicker than than um. And your icing is totally up to you. If you like uh, super super thick icing, then you can leave it like it is. If you like it a little bit thinner, you can add uh, more milk, more coffee. We like where it's at on the maple coffee taste. And so she's just added a little bit more milk, probably about a quarter of a cup. And uh, we'll get these uh, yeah, cinnamon looks... rolls iced. And then we'll have them packaged up for church tomorrow. That yeah, better. that looks a lot better. Okay, and so uh, we have, while I have one dripping off my spoon here. <laughs> okay, we're going to get these iced up and we'll come back when we get that done. Here's the finished product. We've got three, six... Uh, we've got 14 pans of cinnamon rolls, 9 by 13 pans that are ready to go. And we'll call it a day. Uh, ready to go to church in the morning. Just as a little thank you to all of our church families. <clears throat> and a way to say Merry Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, Cheyenne has uh, left out, had to go to Blade's work birthday. <laughs> work Christmas party and so me and the boys are holding down the fort and uh, this is Josie. I love you guys. I really do. Keep looking well to the ways of your household. Keep enjoying this Christmas season and until next time we're gone.